Mid-morning in Prospect Park on a drizzly December Wednesday, stillness reigns. But in the southeast corner of these grounds, residents, feathered, shelled, and winged, detect a disturbance. I did see a little movement just then. Brooklyn Bird Club president Robert Bate and a flock of birders huddle around a clump of brush on the back side of the new LaFrac Center, aiming expensive cameras and more expensive binoculars into the thicket where they believe a painted bunting landed. It's probably the most colorful songbird in North America, and we have some really colorful songbirds. It's probably also the first confirmed sighting of a male of this species in the Northeast, and birders, especially the man who first spotted this tricolored Florida native, cannot believe their lenses. Nearly just lost it over it. Sunday morning, a birder in Prospect Park spotted a male bird no one had seen in the Tri-State area before. He took some pictures to prove he saw it, and then posted his sighting on Twitter. I was here within 15 minutes. It seems bird Twitter is more active than one might have guessed. Nowadays, birders are very connected to social media. Well, at one point, there were, you know, maybe 40, 45, 50 birders here. Since I've seen the bird a lot, I didn't uh, come right away, but um, some people did. <laughs> and I know it might be a mob scene, so I was like, okay, I'll wait. Tom Stevenson wrote the Warbler Guide, owns the U.S. record for number of birds photographed in a 24-hour period, and travels the world recording thousands of bird calls, which he then donates to the world's largest collection of such things at Cornell's Library of Natural Sciences. There's a lot that's not known about bird vocalizations. While the appearance of this vagrant excites many bird watchers, for Tom and Rob, this bird in the bush is worth more in a couple of weeks during Audubon's annual Christmas bird count than an infinite number of photos taken of it today. They ask, you know, any unusual birds for Prospect Park, you know, and the hand goes up, you know, and says, we had a, you know, we had a painted bunting, and that's, that's, you know, that's good stuff for, that's good stuff for a birder. So for now, a bunting grows in Brooklyn, and while resident bird brains may fail to understand the human commotion in their backyard, birders from the region migrate to Prospect Park for a glimpse of what they call a rarity while hobby leaders like Tom and Rob selfishly hope this painted bunting stays in Brooklyn through the holidays. I can't see anything now. In Prospect Park, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.